Hello, welcome back again to the channel. On this video, we're gonna discuss this inequality. So we have that we are supposed to show that if absolute value of x is less or equal to 2, then absolute value of that expression is less than 15. So the main trade of tools here is the triangle inequality. So triangle inequality says that the absolute value of a plus b is always less or equal to absolute value of a plus absolute value of b. Okay, so let's start working on this. Oh, before doing that, so please give it a try and pause the video for a moment and we will discuss the problem later okay so please pause the video okay uh, now let's discuss the problem together oh, we are supposed to show this right hand side that the absolute value of x squared plus 2x plus 7 less or equal to x squared plus 1. So first of all, this x squared plus 1 on the bottom make us difficult to use this inequality. So we're gonna do something about that. So first of all, notice this that this expression can be written as something like this absolute value of the top divided by the absolute value of the bottom but since x squared plus 1 is always positive then the value of x squared plus 1 with or without absolute value are remain the same so we can leave it in that way okay so now in order to simplify the left hand side so notice that x squared plus 1 is always greater or equal to 1 so this implies that if we have something divided by x squared plus 1 that's gonna be smaller compared to if we divide it by 1 so then this whole thing is less than or equal to x squared plus 2x plus 7 divided by 1 and the reason is because x squared plus 1 because the divisor is greater on the left hand side compared to the right hand side right so then we just rewrite the right hand side as absolute value of x squared plus 2x plus 7 now at this point we need our triangle inequality so this triangle inequality is not only true for for two, uh, for two terms of a plus b only, but it can be extended to like absolute value of a plus b plus c will be less or equal to the sum of absolute value of each of the terms. So, in regards of that, then this expression will be less or equal to absolute value of x squared plus absolute value of 2x plus absolute value of 7. This is simply by applying the triangle inequality. Now, absolute value of x squared is the same as absolute value of x squared. Then twice of absolute value of x and then since 7 is clearly positive, then absolute value of 7 is simply just 7. Okay. Now, we use the given information that absolute value of x is less or equal to 2. So therefore, since each of these less or equal to 2, then x squared will be less or equal to 2 squared. And then this absolute value of x is less or equal to 2. This is 7. So if we simplify, we have exactly 15. So if we read from the top to the bottom then it says that this expression is less or equal to 15 okay so that is something that need to be emphasized here that 
this 15 is just some rough estimate, some rough upper bound for this expression. And the way we obtain this upper bound by using triangle inequality is probably not the, the only way to reach that conclusion. You might use some other argument to arrive to the same conclusion. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that this 15 might not be the best upper bound for this expression. Okay, we may get something else, something smaller than 15. Meanwhile, the statement is still true. So, so let's see if we can uh, make it this upper bound smaller by using some, uh, by using a more clever procedure. So let's give it a try. So the the objective is we want to find a better a better upper bound for this expression inside the absolute value. Okay. So let's give it a try. So again we have something like this x squared plus 2x plus 7 divided by x squared plus 1. Okay, we want to have some upper bound for this expression, right? Okay. So first, let's do as follows. So rewrite the numerator as x squared plus 1 plus 2x plus 6. Okay, we can check easily that the, num the numerator is remain the same, which is x squared plus 2x plus 7 right but we just collect together the x squared plus 1 and separate the 2x plus 6 so now notice this that this one x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 is simply 1 so we have 1 plus 2x plus 6 divided by x squared plus 1 okay now we can use again the triangle inequality. This is less or equal to 1 plus absolute value of 2x plus 6 divided by x squared plus 1. Okay. Again using similar method, if we divide by x squared plus 1, that will make our expression smaller compared to if we divide by 1. So this is still less or equal to 1 plus 2x plus 6 then apply again the triangle inequality to the 2x plus 6 okay so 1 plus absolute value of 2x which is the same thing as twice of absolute value of x plus 6 now we can use the, the fact that absolute value of x is less or equal to 2 it is given as condition so this will be less or equal to 1 plus 2 times 2 4 plus 6 which is 11 okay so the previous result which says that this expression less or equal to 15 does not necessarily invalidate that this expression can be uh, the, abs the the upper bound can be smaller than 15 indeed we just show that the upper bound can be made into 11 so that expression is in fact less or equal to 11 okay so now the challenge for all of you is let's see if you can make this upper bound smaller i propose to have this upper bound so proof that if absolute value of x less or equal to 2, then the absolute value of x squared plus 2x plus 7 divided by x squared plus 1 is less or equal to 8. I think it works for 8 as well. So give it a try, the, this uh, problem, the challenge problem, and let me know if you are able to solve it and write down your solution under the comment, under the video. So thank you very much for watching, see you again on the next video, bye bye.